In the previous chapter, we were introduced to the concept of energy as being the ability to do work. When an object is in motion, it has kinetic energy due to its speed. When an object has stored energy, this energy is called potential energy. At any time, an object's energy can be made up of kinetic energy given by the symbol K or potential energy given by the symbol U, or a combination of both. This is also true for objects moving in simple harmonic motion. The kinetic energy of an object is given as half times its mass times the square of its velocity, while the potential energy is given by the work done by a force, F, to displace an object at distance X. In simple harmonic motion, the work done is against the restoring force in the oscillator. When you pull on a spring or compress it, you are doing work to change the length of the spring by some distance. You are doing work on the spring, thereby transferring energy to the spring, which stores that energy as potential energy. When you release the spring, the restoring force uses that energy to restore the spring back to its original length. In simple harmonic motion, the force is not constant and varies with displacement. So the potential energy must be written as an integral instead of a simple product of two constant values. If you've forgotten about work done by a varying force, refer back to the graphical analysis of work video. So the potential energy gained by an oscillator is written as the integral of the restoring force with respect to its position relative to equilibrium. The restoring force is given by the product of the spring constant with the displacement. Solving for the integral gives the potential energy to be equal to half of the spring constant multiplied by the square of the displacement. The term half kx squared is called the elastic potential energy. It's the energy stored when you do work to move it from its equilibrium position. So the total energy of an oscillator at a position x is given by the sum of its kinetic energy and its potential energy at that position. Let's now have a look at these equations in action. Consider the following scenario where we have a block of mass 500 grams sitting on a horizontal frictionless surface. In its equilibrium position, it is at the center of two similar springs that have the same spring constants. If we slide the mass and displace it a distance 10 centimeters to the left, we have done work to compress the left spring and stretch the right spring. In doing so, we have given them elastic potential energy. At its maximum displacement, there is no velocity, so there is no kinetic energy. The mass only has potential energy given by half Ka squared, where A is the amplitude of the oscillation. When we let the mass go, the restoring force in both springs will cause the mass to move back towards its equilibrium position and start oscillating. And moving back to its equilibrium, it will accelerate due to the restoring force and will increase speed, thereby increasing its kinetic energy. From the graph of the energy of the mass, where is the kinetic energy the maximum? When it's at its equilibrium position, its displacement is zero, so there's no potential energy. But at equilibrium, the mass has its maximum velocity so it has maximum kinetic energy. As the mass swings past its equilibrium towards the other amplitude, it slows down again and loses kinetic energy, while at the same time gaining potential energy. From the graph, it can be seen that the energy of the mass changes from the potential energy to kinetic energy, then back to potential energy again, while the total energy remains constant. The total energy is the maximum potential energy at the maximum displacement, or at the amplitude. And the kinetic energy at any point is the difference between the total energy and the potential energy at that point. So for this spring mass system, the total energy is 30 millijoules, that is 30 by 10 to the negative 3 joules, when it has a maximum displacement of 10 centimeters. Using the elastic potential energy formula, Determine the spring constant for these springs. The maximum speed occurs when the block is at equilibrium. This is when all of the energy is kinetic, 
so the kinetic energy is equal to the total energy. Now the total energy is the potential energy at the amplitude and the kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared. This equation can be rearranged to solve for the maximum velocity at equilibrium. Given that the block has a mass of 500 grams and the spring constant is 6 newtons per meter, then what is the maximum velocity of the block? Finally, what is the displacement when the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy? The only time where kinetic energy and potential energy are the same is when both are equal to exactly half of the total energy. Since it's a potential energy that is dependent on position, we can use it to determine the position where the potential energy is half of the total energy. Rearranging to solve for x gives us a position of 0 0.071 meters. Note that this occurs twice in each cycle of the isolation, at 0 0.017 meters on either side of equilibrium. In summary, the total mechanical energy of an object in simple harmonic motion is the sum of its kinetic energy and its elastic potential energy. The potential energy of an oscillator at a displacement x is equal to half of the spring constant multiplied by the square of its displacement. The potential energy is a maximum at the amplitudes of oscillation, while the kinetic energy is a maximum at zero displacement or at the equilibrium position.